Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I will be unboxing the GoPro Hero 9 Black with a bunch of accessories. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I have decided to actually have a membership for the YouTube channel. A lot of people have kind of said maybe I should, but I didn't know what to really offer. So with the GoPro, I'm gonna be doing a brand new series and I'll talk about that after we unbox it. So let's get to it. Okay, so the GoPro has been something I've actually never gotten. It's a piece of tech that I just never thought to get. And really it's because I don't do action cami stuff and I don't really vlog. So I was like, well, why would I really need to? But the one thing I will say about the GoPro that is really why you would ever want to get it is because it really does have the best stabilization pretty much you can still get. Overall, if you want to rock great stabilization, this is pretty much still the best way to go. And I will say this, um, it is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. I, I don't know, I just, I, I guess I always thought it would just be so tiny seeing pictures of it. Uh, but I hear this one is, uh, the nine particularly, is a little bit bigger than the eight was, like it went up in size. Uh, and that's because I guess it has a bigger battery life. So I haven't had to deal with a lot of the pain issues that a lot of other people dealt with in the past. Um, I know a lot of uh, people, um, basically the parts on the bottom would break and now this is built into it. So this uh, kind of mount is built into it, but there's always a worry that if this breaks, then what are you gonna do? Also, you can actually change out uh, this part now as well. So I don't know if there's a mechanism to it. I'm just gonna leave it alone, but basically you can change out the actual lens cover for it too. I'm pretty sure you can probably buy some different ones. Um, and But the big thing about with me, and the reason why I finally got this one was because of the front screen. I don't, if I would do a vlog, if I would do anything like that, I needed a front screen and it was just a non-starter for me otherwise. So when GoPro did this, I was really interested in it. Now I saw the Osmo a lot and I thought about getting that one, but I will say that this one did have the better overall color. And that was one thing that I really wanted to make sure I had. Um, stabilization seemed about the same personally, but that was one thing that I really wanted to get with it. So it does look like it's a type C connection, which I guess it used to be a micro. These batteries are tiny. Wow, these batteries are tiny. Uh, like the battery is so small compared to the unit. And that's actually pretty surprising. And this is a bigger battery than what was around before. Wow, so that's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, I don't know how to open it yet. I guess I will find that out. Uh, but yeah, kind of interested to see how this goes overall. Um, so I got that, I got, um, pretty sure this is the default bracket you can put it on um, and just kind of adhere it to it. But for what I plan on doing, I did need to get a couple of extra things. So. First thing I need to do was get a better microphone. So this finally came in and this is why I've actually had everything else for a little while now, but I didn't want to do the video until I got this one. The media mod was sold out for a long time. Apparently this is very popular, which leads me to believe I made the right choice in waiting till I got an external mic before I started this new series uh, for the membership part of the channel. And uh, it really just seems like that this is the way to go. So basically what this gives you, and the reason why it's the most sought after accessory, it seems like for GoPro, is it gives you a couple things. So one, it gives you a much better shotgun mic than the built-in mic from right here. So a little bit of a difference you could tell there. Um, and you still have noise canceling mics on the top and the bot are on the side, it looks like, yeah. But the biggest thing that apparently everyone liked, including me about this, was that 
You have a shoehorn to kind of add on to it. So you can have a cold shoe mount to put things on here on both sides, on the right side and on here. But the biggest thing is definitely that you have a external mic output. So that's really huge. And that's one thing I will definitely be using uh, because that way I can use a wireless mic uh, and basically the true way to vlog with this Swen is um, that I don't know how to put this on. I will find all that out, but it looks like you have to take like the side door out, I believe, to do this. And then you also have this little part. So we'll see how good the shotgun mic is without it. But where I'm going to be, I have a lot of AC, so I doubt this will be good enough. I'll probably use the wireless mic. It will probably be better in the end. And then we have this part. Now this is going to play the main part uh, to my entire setup for the membership section. And that's because what I'm going to do is actually use this on my car dash. So what I'm actually going to do is start a new series. And what this series is going to be about is just tech talks. And I'm just gonna talk about different tech that you guys might be interested in. Now this is a huge freaking uh, suction cups. So that's pretty <laughs> kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so basically this is supposed to be one of the best things to mount. And this is what a lot of people apparently use when you see all these uh, dash cam footages um, of people vlogging in a car. This is uh, the one of the best pairings. And of course you put that with this and we're gonna rock it. So that is what I will be recording all of these future membership videos for. And I will start that uh, about next week. So yes. And then got some extras for if I ever get to go outside again and vlog uh, normally. Um, the cool thing is um, GoPro had this special deal with this uh, Black 9 when the first was announced. And that was that it gave you the ability that you got the membership basically for free uh, and you still got $100 off. So basically you got $50 cheaper with a free membership, but that free membership gave you 33% um, off of accessories or up to 50% if you got them all together. So I bought a bunch of stuff together so they were really cheap. Um, so that's why I got these. So I got an extra battery because I hear that the battery does go through rather quickly after like a couple of uh, two hours or so. So if I'm ever logging more than that and uh, say like at a event, if I ever get to go to an event again, I can use that. And then this just seems like a good thing to have. You have a tripod, you have an extended arm. So it seems like the best thing overall to get, whether it be if I wanted a grip an arm or a tripod, this one just seemed like the best one. There was another one that was even more extravagant, but this one just seemed the best for my needs. So yeah, guys, that is what I am ready to go for. I cannot wait to bring all of these accessory items to you and kind of go over them and really get to test them out. And you will see these three specifically on future videos or not see them, but at least hear them from recording and see the quality. So yeah, I will uh, overall review it after a month probably of usage. I am hoping to get at least four uh, membership videos out by then. So we will have a good record and see how good that quality is. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.